Rob, that must feel like a hurtful defeat. Yeah, I mean, right here and now, I'm probably about as frustrated as I think I can I can remember being after a Premiership game. I mean, there's obviously been ones in the past, but um, primarily because and this is not taking away from Bath. I think Bath grew through the game far more than we did. Um, but it's, it's, it's very frustrating when you highlight various aspects of a game that will make the game good for us and tough for Bath. And we almost... I mean, I'm not, at times it almost felt like we were willfully not doing some of the stuff that we actually talk about, we practice, and, and that's that's rare for us. And now I've kind of got to make, got to try and decide, you know, why that happened. I've always, we always got to look at ourselves as coaches as to why it happened because it felt like it came out of the blue a little bit. In that there seems to be a, a good feeling around the place. We were good from the last week. We were quite buoyant. I think I think we were pretty comfortable in how we could really cause Bath some problems. And actually, I thought even at half time, I thought I thought we hadn't played well. I thought up the slope into the into the breeze, it was kind of there for us to accelerate from. But um, you know, I mean, even in the first half, you know, you look at the end of the first half, you know, getting in front of the kickers, silly penalties on the floor, just complete stuff we just didn't need to do to give up field position that then led to points or. Get, get, took the pressure off them to play with advantage. You know they're so frustrating from a coaching perspective when you actually talk about things you you don't do to make the game hard for yourself. And we did it. And it, to be fair, it wasn't in, just an experienced players doing it. It was some pretty ex experienced guys doing it. That then you couple to a scrum that kind of disintegrated a little bit, um, along with a couple of a couple of relatively simple missed tackles. And and it soon adds up to a lot of points for the opposition and not much for us. And you know I don't I don't mind saying I I haven't tried to sugarcoat it with the players. I haven't even tried to say to them we need to keep morale high for next week. You know we're back in the Hiding Cup. As far as I'm concerned, and I've said to them, the, the weapon you've got as a as a player is how you perform. That's what gets you selected. There's quite a few lads who haven't used that today. You know, if they really want to play Hiding Cup rugby, they haven't shown it today. You know, and the, the weapon I've got is selection. And I think you know sooner or later we can kind of talk our way around it being a transitional season and the highs and lows and are we where we want to be and bits and pieces but ultimately you've got to make a call and go right maybe it, maybe this is the time to move on maybe we are where we are and we've got to make some big some big bold calls now um, I've just said to the lads we'll see how you turn up on Tuesday we'll make a lot of decisions on how people turn up Tuesday I'm going to make a lot of decisions on how I watch the game now um, and I've just said you, you need to you need to see the remarks I put down for you because I expect them to change on Tuesday. If you don't, you know we're going to move forward. Big bold calls in terms of selection changes. Well, then day we had a, we had quite a group of players who, rightly or wrongly, and I know it's a different competition, you can't link it the same. But we've had a, some lads who performed really well in the Premiership Cup. You know maybe this is the time. You know maybe those guys would have played, actually, you know got on with things and, and showed a bit of quality about what they did and a bit a real genuine bit of hunger and desire to do the right things. And, and sometimes you know you've got to make those calls. You're still in the playoff shake-up, clearly, but but the reality is, unless your away form picks up, you're not going to make it, are you? Well, 100%. I mean, we've come to the bottom team in the Premiership and beat and been beaten away from home, and we've got to go to two teams who have got considerably better form in the Premiership, and we have to win them both to even have a, 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 a dog's chance of staying up. So it's so again up to that top four. So it kind of shows you the, the shift we've got to make mentally when we come away from home. Um, some of that. You know, we'll have to be down to the players, and some of it is down to how we approach things as coaches. But we've we've got to get on with things, and that's going to be very much going to start now. Thanks, Rob. Right. Thanks, Nick.